students welcome back to the session on uh, plant layout in our uh, previous uh, video we have seen uh, the various classifications with respect to the layout so among that the first one is we are going to study in detail with respect to manufacturing units layout is product or line layout it could be called as assembly line layout also so this is the layout which is designed using the machines and equipments arranging in one line depending upon the sequence of operations required for the product okay so here the design of the layout is derived by arranging them in a sequential way how the operations are required or the conversion process is required for any specific product so the materials move from one workstation to another sequential uh, sequentially without any backtracking or any deviations so if it is already so it is predetermined sequences in terms of material movements from one workstation to another station with respect to product line or say assembly line layout um, so here it is depending upon the product the sequence is already derived with respect to the operations so material moves from one to another machines sequentially without any deviation okay and uh, materials are fed into first machine and finished goods travel automatically from machine to machine the output of one machine becoming the input to next machine so i hope we have uh, got an idea what is product line or product or assembly line layout simple so this is the layout which is derived based on the sequence of operations required for a product based on that machines and equipments are arranged sequentially in order to produce the product say example from one if the first machine is receiving the raw materials and the second one is giving the sorry the last one is giving the final product so one from moment of one workstations or one equipments or say you know the machines would give finished product as raw materials to another workstation so movement of materials from one uh, one machine to another uh, machines it happens sequentially which is already predetermined which is required or the specifications are required in terms of operations of the production so without any deviation so it has to go sequentially so from one two three and four and so on the machines how the, the placement has to happen in such a way the arrangement of such machines have, has to happen in such a way that you don't see any deviations it has to have a continuous flow flow that's what this is also referred as an assembly line layout okay let's see uh, in a pictorial way so now we have a production of uh, tv television so here first is assemble chassis and uh, second uh, machine would install circuit board and uh, the third one is you know somewhere install the flat screen and the installation of speakers and the next machine goes to final assembly and the last is final inspection inspection so here if you introduce or if you um, insert the machine materials into first machine and then lastly you would get your final product without any disturbances in your production system so this was this is how the production or product layout works so let's see there are a few advantages and disadvantages as each layout consists of advantages and disadvantages respectively so let's see what are those okay advantages so low cost of material handling due to straight or short route and absence of backtracking so as a product line layout is you know we don't see any deviation it is all sequentially determined the operations of production so the cost of material handling would be less the smooth and uninterrupted operation so see when uh, the product is designed the sequence of operations is designed and everything happens automated 
system so you directly once we insert or once we input the raw materials we will be getting the final product without any disturbances or any interruptions so this would give a smooth functioning of production okay continuous flow of work we see as there is no any interruptions or any deviations with respect to production operations we see continuous flow of work lesser investment in any inventory and work in progress so as uh, we have to see as we see continuous flow of work we don't need to invest or we don't need to focus on more towards the materials handling because the continuous process is there so you, once when, whenever you receive the raw materials you can directly input into a production system rather than giving them an ideal time so it's somewhere less investment in terms of handling inventory and work in progress so optimum uses uses of floor space as the process is pre uh, sequentially predetermined as it's, uh, which affects you know arrangements of the equipments which gives us the optimum use of floor space okay shorter processing time or quicker input so output sorry uh, shorter processing time or quicker output so as we see um, the sequential of operations so the production cycle consumed here is less comparing to other system so it gives you it gives us a uh, less production cycle time consumed per unit so less concession of work in the process so concession is you know piling up of the uh, process so during this product line layout as it is sequentially designed and predetermined operation so we see less work concession in the process of production and simple and effective inspection of work and simplified production control so we see there is an assembly line designed sequentially so maintaining and supervising the control of production is simple and effective with respect to product line product or assembly line layout so these are the few advantages with respect to product or assembly line layout okay it's lower cost manufacturing per unit so as we have any uninterrupted un un uh, operations and we see continuous flow 24 hours 7 working with respect to manufacturing we get high number of volume produced but so somewhere it adds us you know it helps us to minimize the manufacturing cost per unit okay so we have certain disadvantages as well so let's see what are those high initial capital investment in the special purpose money machine so as every stage is required by machinery it is sequentially designed so the investment in terms of machineries and equipments are really high at the initial stage heavy overhead charges so we the overhead charges in the sense the number of employees involved the maintenance with respect to such layout you see the line production is heavy overhead charges are the charges which are uh, indirectly indirect charges on the cost in the on the production costs such as the involvement of labor labor expenses and material expenses and service experiences service expenses so such charges are quite high with respect to plant sorry a product or assembly line layout okay okay and uh, the breakdown of one machine will hamper the whole production process so as the product or say assembly line layout is uh, sequentially designed sequence of op operations have been predetermined so if we see one machine failure it affects the processes of another machines as well as it is a sequential uh, layout predetermined sequence of an order of production process so it has an impact if one machine fails or breakdowns it has a directly impact on the whole process of production so lesser flexibility as specially laid out for the particular product so product or assembly line layout is suitable for only which has a single product concept so if it so it is quite inflexible in terms of 
uh, the expansion or the introduction of the new product line with respect to the manufacturing unit. So this is all about the disadvantages and advantages of product or assembly line layout. Okay, and specialized and strict supervision is essential. Okay, it is uh, as it is 24 by 7 uh, functioning of the uh, manufacturing unit. So there are machines involved and different processes. So each has to be strictly supervised and specialized uh, supervision is essential in this layout. So this was all about the advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so we'll see uh, how in which industries is, it is quite suitable. So mass production of standardized products, simple and repetitive manufacturing process, operation time for different processes is more or less equal, reasonably stable demand for the product, continuous supply of materials. So this is quite suitable for the mass production system of uh, standardized products. In a, it's a similar product where you're producing one uh, pro single product concept and we have a simple and repetitive manufacturing process so it is not really suitable for the complicated uh, complicated manufacturing process so an operation time for different processes is more or less so such industries is suitable so reasonably stable demand so when you have uh, you don't see much differences in terms of demand for the product such uh, for such product it is suitable and you have uh, when with respect to the raw materials of your product when we see the continuous supply of such materials and for such product this layout is suitable so this was all about product line layout